Viruses. By numbers, there are many more viruses on Earth than all other organisms combined, including bacteria, and by a long way. They come in all shapes. You should recognize this one. Ebola, for example, is an ultra-microscopic thread, a tiny worm of doom. Norovirus looks more like a ball, and just a hundred of them is enough to infect you. Now, how about that for a poison that kills around about 200,000 people a year? And they can infect all life on Earth, from humans to animals to plants to bacteria and even each other. But how do viruses work? Let's take a look at these two. This one infects bacteria. It's a bacteriophage. It has a head or capsid which holds the genetic material inside and then a tail section with tail fibers. And here's how it works. The little spaceship approaches a bacterium, lands on it, and then by contraction physically injects its genetic material into that cell. Now that genetic material then commands the machinery of the cell to make more and more copies of the virus until the bacterium blows up under the strain, releasing an army of new viruses. Now coronavirus is different. It's a ball that holds the genetic material inside and these protein structures on the surface, well, they interact with the ACE2 receptors that are found all over our body's internal organs, heart, lungs. This makes the cell, this skeleton key, take the virus into the cell where it makes copies of itself that are then excreted back out of the cell to go around the body. And because each time the virus gets copied, you can have errors creeping into the copies that make these variants, by luck, faster to infect or avoid the immune system's response or avoid vaccination efforts. And that is the battle that we are fighting now.